Welcome back to three scary videos. Tonight's video is going to be brought to you by Universal Yums. If you want to get something like this into your door every month, just click that link down below and sign up for your first box. It's pretty well priced and you get some great snacks out of it. I've been doing it for a long time now and I'm never disappointed. So get a little taste of the world and sign up for Universal Yums today with my link. And now, let's get right into the first videos. This pair of videos starts much like any other TikTok. Someone finding something strange or unexplainable and promising a part two. As you can see, the first video explains that the poster works at a grain mill in Illinois and came across something near the railroad tracks. It looks almost like an entrance to a bomb shelter, but nevertheless, it's very unsettling. There is a small door seemingly blocked by some downed boards and a little opening on the left at the end of the staircase. Of course, they prompt you to like for part two. The original poster did follow up and the answer we got was actually fairly tame. I'll play the video for you and then explain why this video is so unsettling. It looks like it used to be an old rail scale. Did you see it? I'll play it one more time. Pay attention to the small opening I mentioned in the first video. A hand was poking out of that little window. To be fair, it didn't look extraterrestrial or supernatural. It looked very human but the poster never made mention of someone else being there. Of course, they could have kept that information from us in order to make a more interesting video, but they do go down into the tunnel in the next video. They also explain what the cellar-like door is for much better than I could, so I'll play that video for you now. The rail yard cellar explain. You said in the last video there was a hand right here. Uh, I have no idea what that was. I wasn't down here for very long. But to explain this a little more, uh, a rail car used to sit on top of this and all the weight would come to this one lever. And this lever went up to a shack that was right above and they would use a scale like uh, the one they moved the weights around at the doctor's office. And uh, it was a lot bigger than that, but they were able to weigh a rail car just by this mechanism. And that old shack. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this series. So, do you think the poster and a friend made a silly video just to get some laughs from people's reactions? Or do you think he was actually there alone and someone came to pay him a visit? So, this next video, it's much more obvious as to what to look for. I'll play it a few times with no context, and then I'll talk about my initial thoughts. So as you saw, everything on the shelf above the artist's head just seemed to fall off for no reason. That's what I believed at first until I watched it all the way through. There are a few ways to look at this video, so let's do it one at a time. My first thought was maybe there was some kind of small earthquake. Seems a little far-fetched, but anything is possible. Though this doesn't seem to make much sense when you realize no one in the video reacts to any type of shake or aftershock. 
Also, that large skull decoration and the painting in the background would have hit the floor as well. The only thing that moved were the things on the shelf. The next idea would be something mini on Reddit and what you may be thinking right now. It was the wire that was wrapped around the chair that caused the things on the shelf to fall. There is a large flaw in this idea though. The wire the artist moves is nowhere near the shelf during, before, or after the things fall. As a matter of fact, some theorize it's just the wire from the tattoo machine. Others aren't convinced of that either, though. Many on the original post say that if you look very closely, just as the artist scoots their chair over, it catches the cord of something on the shelf above them, specifically the first thing that falls. I can see why they would theorize this, but the more I watch the video, the more I'm not sure that's the case. If you watch the video frame by frame, you can see there is no cord connected to the first item that falls. The video is grainy, so take it with a pinch of salt, but I don't see a cord coming from that object. Finally, I'll also clarify, I don't believe this was fake. Everyone's reaction feels very genuine, specifically the red-haired woman closest to the camera with her hands going to her mouth as if she's gasping because she's shocked and worried her friend may really be hurt. The artist seems frustrated and annoyed. It seems like the things falling from the shelf may have messed up the stencil, may have messed up the tattoo gun, and maybe as if this had all happened before. Now, I say that for a reason. When I first showed you this video, I didn't give you the context because the video does speak for itself, but the title of the post makes things a little more interesting. Our tattoo studio ghost is getting more aggressive by the day. Likes to knock stuff off shelves and blow out our candles. Doesn't seem to like men. So, was this an unfortunate workplace accident or is there really something happening in their studio? And should they be worried? The account that posted the original video, one of the artists in the shop, hasn't posted any more activity on their account, which I find interesting. If there was a lot of activity happening at the shop, wouldn't posting it and talking about it publicly be publicity for the shop? It wouldn't be the best publicity, sure, but it would most likely pull some traffic from those curious enough to maybe experience something while attending an appointment. That makes me believe this was just an easily explained occurrence, and they thought up an interesting story to post it on Reddit. I could be completely wrong, though. What do you make of this? Finally, we have our first ever EVP on the channel. There is a video to go along with it, but we won't be focusing too much on that. What's important here is what the person claims to have captured. The video was taken on a Nest camera set up in the person's basement, and at the beginning you can see their cat get spooked by something and bolt up the stairs. Only seconds later, we hear a deep voice say something. I'll play it a few times without telling you what the poster believed they heard, and I'll let you think about it. Then, I'll tell you what the poster believed they captured on their camera, and then we'll discuss it a little bit further. Now, what they believe the voice is saying is behind you. Listen closely. Believe it or not, I actually hear, well, look behind you. But that could be my brain filling in the empty space where the audio has artifacts. I looked into the channel that posted the video and learned that it's owned by a young kid, maybe 12 or 13. The other videos on the channel are just gameplay or funny, silly joke videos. So did the kid edit this clip to include a creepy voice saying behind you? I'm not saying they did or didn't, but either way, the voice is incredibly unsettling and leaves me with a few questions. Did the cat react to something that we couldn't see? And was the thing talking to the cat saying it was behind you? Do the people in the house have something to worry about with a voice like this coming from their basement? Let me 
me know what you think about this video and all the other ones in the comments section down below. I'd love to get a discussion going on this and really see what you all think. Thanks for watching, everyone.